Okay, I want to talk just a little bit about some of the different kinds of mutations that might affect transcription and translation. The model now shows some DNA letters in white in the upper row that are complementary to the message RNA letters down below. If there was a mistake in the replication of DNA, such as in this case, that happened during meiosis in the production of, say, sperm cells, the resulting offspring would have that DNA change in every one of their 100 trillion cells. It's possible that a mutation would just happen in the transcription process in a single cell, such as indicated here, where I've changed the message. In that case, it would only affect that cell. Let's take the first case and assume that a mutation happened on the third letter of this codon, where the G was changed to an A. How would that affect the message? Well, instead of being CCC, it would be CCU. As it turns out, the amino acid proline can have any letter for the third letter. So this change would not make any difference at all in the polypeptide sequence. Now let's take this case where the first letter of the codon was changed from a G to an A. That would affect the codon the messenger and turn it from a C to a U. So instead of the amino acid being proline, it would be serine. When a single letter change changes one amino acid that is called a missense mutation. Let's take another example where the middle letter of this codon in the DNA language was changed to a C. So now on the resulting messenger molecule, the C would be changed to a G. This new codon, UGA, is a stop code and that would prematurely end the protein sequence process. The stop code should have been reached much later down the line. So single letter changes are known as point mutations, base pair substitutions, or single nucleotide polymorphisms. And depending where it takes place, it may or may not do anything. There's another type of mutation which is much more problematic known as a frame shift in which either a letter is added or subtracted. In this example, I'm going to add a letter right here between the first and letter, second letter of the codon. I'm going to add a C. So that would mean down here, I'm going to have to shift this over and add a G there. Now, I can't have four letters in the codon, so the frame shift is going to require a reorganization of the codons. So now this C is going to go down one notch, and that means this A is going to slide over one notch, and that A is going to slide over one notch, and that U to over, and so forth, all the way down the line. So a frame shift mutation not only changes the particular codon where the mutation happens, but it changes every codon downstream of the mutation, thus resulting in a drastically different polypeptide sequence, most likely re resulting in a non-functional protein. Frame shift mutations can also result in the deletion of a letter by mistake. So in this example, I'm going to put my card right there, so I've taken away a letter. So now to form a code a codon, I have to steal a letter from downstream. So now instead of having CCC, I have CCG. And this has been uh, redistributed. So I'm just going to steal letters from downstream to make up my codons. And like in the other example, this will change every amino acid sequence downstream of the site of the mutation.